CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 166 through 170 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 166. An administrator must replace an expired SSL certificate on a public-facing web server. To obtain a new certificate from a trusted certificate authority, which of the following does the administrator need to generate and submit? The answer is A. CSR. A certificate signing request, or CSR, is a specially formatted file generated by an administrator when requesting an SSL certificate from a certificate authority. It contains the public key that will be included in the certificate, along with important identifying information such as the organization's name, domain name, locality, and country. Once submitted, the certificate authority verifies the provided information and uses the CSR to create a digital certificate that clients can trust when establishing secure connections. Question 167. A threat actor calls an employee pretending to be a member of the company's IT department and claims they need the employee's login credentials to fix a supposed issue with the email server. The employee, believing the caller is legitimate, provides the requested information. Which of the following social engineering techniques is being used? The answer is D. Pretexting. Pretexting is a form of social engineering in which the attacker creates a fabricated scenario or pretext to manipulate the victim into revealing sensitive information or performing an action. In this case, the attacker impersonates IT staff and uses a fake issue as the pretext to obtain login credentials. This type of attack relies heavily on building trust under false pretenses to achieve the attacker's goal. Question 168. A network administrator is working to strengthen the organization's outbound web traffic controls. Their goals include preventing employees from downloading malicious content, restricting access to websites based on categories, applying rules that vary by department or individual users, and mapping specific service accounts to approve business applications. Which of the following solutions should the administrator implement? The answer is D. Next Generation Firewall. A Next Generation Firewall, or NGFW, is a security solution that provides advanced traffic filtering by inspecting traffic at the application level. It supports policy enforcement based on user identity or department, blocks access to malicious or inappropriate content through category-based filtering, and allows mapping of specific service accounts to approved applications. These features make it ideal for organizations that need to control web usage and enforce detailed access policies. Question 169. A system administrator is configuring SSH access for a group of developers. To improve security and reduce reliance on password-based logins, the administrator implements a solution that uses cryptographic key pairs for authentication instead of requiring a password. Which of the following best describes this login approach? The answer is C. Passwordless. Passwordless authentication refers to verifying the user's identity without requiring a password. In the context of SSH, this often involves using a public-private key pair, where the private key remains with the user and the public key is stored on the server. When the user initiates an SSH session, the server validates the key without needing a password. This method strengthens security by eliminating common password vulnerabilities while streamlining the login process, especially in automated or high-security environments. Question 170. A systems administrator is preparing to implement a major configuration change to the company's authentication servers. The change has been approved and tested in a staging environment, but the administrator is aware that unforeseen issues may still occur during deployment. To reduce the risk of prolonged downtime or security impact if the change fails, 
Which of the following should the administrator include in the change plan? The answer is C. Back out planning. Back out planning involves creating a clear documented process to reverse a change if it causes problems or unexpected security issues during deployment. It is an essential part of any change management process and helps ensure service continuity and protection of system integrity. Including a back out plan demonstrates proper risk mitigation, aligning with best practices outlined in security focused change management policies. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.